So the leading agent CRM comes with a very powerful workflow engine um, and some pre-built workflow reminders and follow-ups to help make your day-to-day -day business easier. Um, and we have that fantastic uh, new feature release of the uh, transaction management tool that is a living, breathing thing that is dates and deadlines are changing on your listings. The CRM is automatically updating follow-up tasks and reminders accordingly so everything stays in sync and happens in the time frames that you want to conduct your business in. Even though those are both fantastic tools, sometimes really all you want is just a checklist. And some of these checklists are things that you'll find you're doing over and over and over. So for instance, maybe maybe you have a new uh you have a listing for a uh, new listing coming up and you have a checklist of things that you do for every single new listing. Now, rather than have to assign the tasks over and over and over to different teammates and make it from scratch all the way through every single time, we have a way that you can do that easily and simply and it's it's using what we call action plans. Action plans, uh you can save templates of checklists that at any given time for a contact, for a transaction, basically anything in our system, you can assign an action plan to it. So what we'll do is first we'll go over how to create an action plan template, and then we'll uh, quickly go over a scenario of how you would deploy one in a real world situation. So first of all, we need to expose all the tabs. So to do that again, what you do is you click on this uh, little dot section here on the left under the leading agent logo. And what you're going to want to choose here is action plan templates. So we'll go ahead and click on that. By default, we don't load any templates into our system. If you wanted a sample or two of an action plan, send an email to support at status5.com and they can push a couple sample action plans into your system. The reason we don't preload them though is because everybody has different checklists for different things and there's there's no universal right way to do this so it just seemed uh kind of pointless um but what we can do let's let's create a new one so let's click new and we'll call this our pre-listing checklist and so now what you can do you can you can you know, skip weekends if you want it to only generate stuff on uh, weekdays, business days. But let's just let's just do an example here. So we'll just go simple. So this is task one. We'll just call it. And so this will be how many days after you've activated this plan do you want it to happen? Um, now, the you, technically you could put zero in here because it when you assign these you get one last chance to look at it and you can change it. Um, and I'll show you that in a minute. But what I would do is just try to fill out everything best effort, you know, that you can, knowing that it's going to change and it can be flexible. It's not a big deal. So um, let's say, you know, this one, you wanted it immediately, you know, one day after. And, and by default, you can assign everything to yourself. I would suggest that just for the beginning. And if you work on a team, on a listing by listing basis, this will change. Um, so I, I just recommend, you know, just assign everything to one person and then you can you can assign it as you go. Um, for categories, we've got some basic ones in here. You can customize them. Um, if you're looking to customize fields, just uh, go to the video on how to add or edit fields and it'll it'll detail exactly how to do that. Um, so let's just say it's an email and we'll just give it a high priority. And so you can have it send a reminder email. Um, also send a pop-up reminder and you can even add any comments to the task. So, um, you know, these are the rules to this task or, you know, what, whatever, don't forget X, Y, Z. Um, so now that we've got that one, we can click next. And so we could say like, this is task two. And so now that we've got a second task in here, you can have dependencies. So, and so you could make like task two can only happen once task one has been complete, for instance. Um, in this case, let's don't do that. Let's just say um, we're just going to call it a meeting, medium, and we'll send the reminders. And then we'll just make one more quick one for illustration purposes.
Okay, so let's let's assume that you filled in your entire action plan. And now you want to save the template. So all you do is you just click the save button. And now you've got your template. So what you can do is the next time you have a listing and you want to uh, assign an action plan, you've, you've got this ready. So again, you know, you do the same list of things preparing every listing. So why constantly fill out all the tasks to assign from scratch every time when you can have something to make life easier? And, and let's show you, we'll click on seller transaction here and let's show you exactly how much easier this is. So if you click on a listing, so let's say we just got this listing uh, into the system and now we want to assign the action plan. All you have to do, click on this little triangle here on the right of the screen and choose create action plan. It's gonna take you to your list of templates. In this case, we only have one, um, but if you had multiple, they'd all be here. And so what you'll do is you'll click on the template. So pre-listing checklist in this case. And here's the neatest thing. We know that real estate is something that changes constantly. Um, nothing's ever the same. And oops, accidentally hit refresh. We know one thing about real estate is it always is changing and never stays the same. So what we've done is we've given you the option to look at this in edit mode one last time. You could make any changes to this. So like for instance, maybe the first task really now you want two days out. The beauty of it is when you make these changes, it's only changing it this one time. It's not changing the, the whole template. Um, so, so that's a really great feature because that way you can really customize this. For instance, maybe, maybe task two here only applies if it's a condo and this happens to be a single family home. So then you could just click this X, it just deletes it. You could go through and you could assign them to different people. Basically, you know, get it all the way you want it. And then when you click save, it's going to auto generate those tasks. So now if we go back to our transactions, and now, oh, here we go. So you see we have an upcoming task and it's, this one's flagged for a, a, a notification. Let's do the 15th, one's do the 18th. So you can see, um, that's nice. It just pre-fills everything out. It, it takes a few minutes to make the, the template the first time, but then after that, it's literally a matter of just editing things that are specific to that particular transaction, and, and then you're off and running. It's, it's a very quick way to be able to, to keep your processes going no matter how busy you get.